Let's look at addition to 100 using the expanded form. It's important that you understand what's happening in this strategy, although I don't know that you would necessarily use it to solve a problem. We use expanded form to understand the value of the digits in a number. So if 64 is 64 in standard form, it is 60 plus 4 in expanded form. Standard form is just the normal way that we would see a number. For this strategy, we're going to stack our equation. So normally, we would look at an equation and it would all be on the same line. 64 plus 23 would all be on the same line. And sometimes I refer to that as a train. In this case, we're going to look at it in a tower. So we're going to stack the 64 on top of the 23. When we do that, this line down here means equals, and the plus sign or the minus sign would go right there. Now, we're going to write our equation in, in expanded form. So 64 is 60 plus 4, and 23 is 20 plus 3. Now we're going to add the tens. Here we've got the tens right here, 60 plus 20 equals 80. Then we're going to add the ones, 4 plus 3 equals 7. Now we're going to put it back into standard form. So expanded form, 80 plus 7 is 87 in standard form. Let's try one with regrouping. So we start by writing the equation in expanded form. 50 plus 7 and 20 plus 8. Now we add the tens. 50 plus 20 equals 70. And we add the ones. 7 plus 8 equals 15. Uh-oh. We've got 15 in the ones. We need to regroup. So we're going to take a 10 out of the ones place. We're left with five. We're going to add that 10 that we just took out of the ones place to the tens place because it's actually a 10. 70 plus 10 is 80. Now we can write 80 plus five, which is the expanded form in standard form, which is 85. Here, I've given you some practice questions. Like I said, you could use this uh, to solve equations, um, but I think it's more important that you just understand this.